What's up, YouTube? Okay, got a real marathon battle for you guys tonight. Before we do that, let's go over yesterday's question today real quick. So uh, the answer was, uh, who is the lightest Pokemon? As in weight, it is Ghastly or Ghastly or Haunter. There's sort of two answers to that, and weighing at 0 0.2 pounds. And today's question is, what wild Pokemon can be found at the highest level in the wild? Leave a comment in the comment section. Go. Uh, don't cheat. See if you can get the answer right. Okay, anyway, let's get to this battle. Uh, it's already sort of started. So, um, Dragonite and uh, Delcaddy lead. So, can't really do much to Dragonite, so I decided to swap out here. But luckily for uh, me, they swapped out too. So, it's sort of a, uh, like a double swap here. Um, okay, so I went into Meetang to sort of just deal that Dragonite somewhat. Um, I was hoping that it wasn't sort of running uh, Earthquake, but anyway, I saw uh, Scra Scraggy, uh, Scrafty, and I thought, oh crap, this this better not have friggin' off knockoff. So anyway, uh, I just went for Toxic just to get a uh, poison on it, uh, regardless there, uh, just in case that it did, so I get at least a little bit of damage off. Uh, for the, but interestingly, it actually had Dark Pulse, which uh, I was like, what the hell? It's a mix attacker. Uh, I get Flinch there, which this never happens before. Um, he gets hurt by the poison a little bit there. Now it does have Drain Punch, obviously what Scrafty does have Drain Punch. Uh, hits me pretty hard uh, there. So I thought, well, I can sort of stay in, I know I can handle that, and I might as well get some damage of Meteor Mash, and I can probably rest a little bit of the damage off as well. Um, this thing's pretty powerful after a couple of, uh, even just one Dragon Dance, it's quite powerful. Okay, so it's going to continue going for Dragon Dance. I just went for rest here, um, I live at 27 health, which is good. Um, it's got, getting a lot of its health back with uh, Drain Punch too. Now I'm thinking, well, I could. It can't do too much damage to me, and I can. I know that I can rest, sleep, talk, and at least if I use rest twice in a row, it won't be able to take me out uh, unless it starts boosting up with uh, Dragon Dance again. Uh, Meetang was probably the absolute backbone in this battle. Um, he was really amazing. But anyway, um, so realizing that I can't really do much uh, apart from. Um, Swapping out or boosting the Dragon Dance, uh, but they probably died to Toxic by that time. Um, in comes the Zardex. Now I get Meteor Mash on the Sleep Talk, which is okay. I would have rather Toxic, but um, I guess it's better than using Rest. So I'm going to have to swap out there because I know some sort of like fire move is coming. Uh, so I just went to Checkmate because uh, that's my sort of my special defense wall, and I can sort of just um, see what moves it's sort of got. Um, even with like it being a special defense wall, I know it's going to take loads of damage uh, because the drought is up and everything, and it's Mega Charizard. Uh, hits really hard. But interestingly, it was a um, it had Earthquake, which I wasn't really expecting. I was expecting definitely a fire move there. So I went for Protect, so I wanted to see what other moves this thing had. Um, it was going to use against me. I went for over Overhead, and I'm like, shit, that's going to be very powerful in the sun. Um, goes for another Earthquake there, I guess. Uh, hit me for a critical hit, which sucked. Uh, I do get the wish off there, so really my role here was just to sort of find out what moves I had, and um, it wasn't really easy to swap stuff into this either. It was really quite difficult because uh, it was a mixed attacker, so another. And it had Roost as well, which is interesting. So it's got um, Roost, Earthquake, and Overheat so far. Um, so some interesting moves there for sure. Okay, uh, have to watch out for that. That overheat was very powerful in the sun as well. Uh, so I get hit by another earthquake there. I just threw up a wish here because I wasn't really sure what to do. I was a little bit stuck at this point in the match. I was trying to think what um, I can do to get around this Charizard, whether I let my float set die, let something else die. Um, I thought he knew that I'd go for a protect here, and I was going to go for aromatherapy there. So I, like, I could have easily protected there, but I thought he'd predict that and just like swap out or do something else. Um, so whatever, uh, that's my special defense tank gone, which sucks. Um, I don't like losing that so early on. I went to Altaria because it seemed like it could resist a lot of its moves. And, and out comes Slow King, and I know I'm not going to do much to this thing because it's got crazy special defense. Uh, I just went for Drake or Meteor, which is my strongest move that I'm carrying on this thing. And with Life Orb, it hits pretty hard considering um, it's a Slow King. So I'm quite happy with that damage there. I know you have, probably have Regenerator, so it's my damage is sort of short-lived. Um, but I wasn't too worried about that so much. So I was sort of expecting maybe an Ice Beam here, um, or maybe like a Calm Mindset. So I went to Meetang again, um, sort of to resist that, uh, which I do. And I really wanted to get a Toxic on this thing. It was like paramount that I did that. Otherwise, I wouldn't... I feel I would very much struggle against this thing, uh, for sure. Um, 
So he's going to uh, withdraw uh, the Slow King now. Um, so back into the Charizard. This is the freaking problem, this Charizard. It was... I lost my special defense wall. Um, it's got that drought up again, and oh my god, over here is so powerful. Um, so here, I get another uh, turn of uh, Sleep Talk off, which is good, so I can like wake up probably the next turn. And I get Toxic, and that was really good getting Toxic there, because... Um, uh, that Charizard is going to slowly sort of get worn down, and he, if he wants to stay in a lot, he's going to take a lot of damage. Uh, so I'm definitely not prepared to lose my Mi Tang here. No way. It's so it'll be very handy in this battle. I went to Kabuskin because I thought it was the most expendable here, um, and sort of resist the move somewhat. Even though I know it's going to do like a shitload of damage to me, uh, it does nearly take me out there. Um, I think Everlight saved me there, which is good. Um, now, really here, I had I was running just a run of protect on this. So I thought, well, the way, the best I can do here is just take a hit and do a, get a protect off. I guess there's nothing really else I can do here. Um, maybe do a couple of tricky swap ins to get a couple of extra turns of toxic, and that's really all I can do. So I was thinking, well, it's definitely going to go for earthquake here. I haven't seen his last move, but I'm sure it's going to be earthquake again. So I just went straight into Altara again, because it's a flying type, obviously. Uh, I get another extra turn of uh, Poison, which was good. Uh, so it's starting to really rack up the damage. Uh, oddly, he goes for Solar Beam, so that was his last attack. So Combuskin was pretty much right there. Um, it just only was sort of hit by that earthquake. I'm not sure why he did that. Maybe he wanted to get rid of his uh, Charizard and have a fresh swap in. Uh, since it was like already toxic. I'm not too sure, but I just went for Drake on me anyway. Uh, maybe he didn't want to swap anything into it, but he did have his Slow King, I guess, but I'm not too sure um, why he did that for, but that's that pain out of the way. I was happy to get rid of that um, regardless. Um, and the Sunlight's going to fade there as well. Now, i am got a low special attack here, obviously because it's harshly fell uh, from Drake on Media, so there's no point in me staying in here. I'm ex expecting probably like a Calm Mindset. Uh, as most sort of Espeon are. I just went to um, Combuskin here because I didn't really have much much checks left and uh, I knew this thing would probably be carrying Shadow Ball as well um, so it would be pretty decent against my Meeting. Now, um, I almost went for Sword Dance here but I thought, well last time I didn't go for Protect and he attacked me so let's try this. And he's going to go for Carmine this time so god damn it. <laughs> I, I can't catch a break with this. Um, so he's going to get two Carmines off so he's quite... Um, Quite a high in special attack and special defense as well. Um, but I do get one speed boost, but unfortunately that is not going to be enough to outspeed uh, Espeon. Um, so sort of kicking myself there. I probably should have just attacked, but hell, it's it was one of those things where I could have easily died and not protected and died as well. So uh, I guess that's fine. So straight into uh, Ditto here. Um, I thought that was the best swap in because now I can see its whole moveset and I've got some boosts of my own. Uh, from his Espeon. Uh, as I thought, it did have Shadow Ball and it does like nearly takes it out. I was very close there. And um, obviously, that's going to stay in as well, a new Shadow Ball. So I'm Choice Scarfed. He obviously knows that now. Um, and his Life Orb, which is uh, good. Lisa's doing like a little bit of damage to herself. That was sort of my point. Uh, unfortunately, with Ditto uh, being Choice Scarf, his only item, he's quite so, sort of like prey to like this sort of thing. He can just like swap in. And uh, block my uh, shadow move with uh, shadow ball with a uh, program too. Uh, so there's not much I can do to that. There's nothing, so I have to swap out there. Uh, straight into me tank again. I sort of want to scope out what moves this thing has. Um, so it's got tri attack. Obviously, every program two has tri attack. Um, I wasn't sure if it had shadow ball or anything, but it, it used uh, signal beam, which is like sort of interesting. Um, I just went for toxic here, but it freaking avoids, and that really sucks. Um, it really sort of sucks there. So it seems Signal Beam was the best move he, like, he sort of had to hit me with, uh, which was good because I can like live loads of them. Um, I get my Toxic on Polygon, so I'm quite surprised he actually stayed in. Synchronize doesn't affect me because I'm a Steel type, so that's cool. Um, me Tang's quite... Um, oh, he was, he's was he been so handy so far. Um, so not wanting to take lots of Toxic damage on Polygon 2, he's going to swap out. And uh, straight into Espeon again. Now, Espeon was sort of the problem here. Um, I had to go for Rest there because... I know that uh, Shadow Ball, even without a boost, is going to do at least uh, like three quarters of my health, um, like minimum there. So I've got him at full health. I want to swap him out. I think it's the, the only move it's going to be going for is a Shadow Ball. So straight into Del Caddy, and I get the Shadow Ball resist, which is great. Um, unfortunately, here I've already sort of revealed that I've got Fake Out, but I thought, what the hell? Let's just go for Fake Out anyway. 
Um, like I've got nothing to lose. And uh, this De this Delcadia is pretty cool and fun to use. So I get a um, bit of fake out damage there against Scrafty. Now obviously they weren't aware that I was running Sucker Punch here. And they thought probably that they'd outspeed and Drain Punch and get all the health back. But that's not going to be the case. So Delcadia is going to be able to take that out. So uh, double stab uh, priority there which is incredibly fun. Uh, to use. Now out into Dragonite. Now this I was really worried about Dragonite too because it's like it's such a, a powerful Pokemon. Um, so I went to Meeting. I knew that I'd be in trouble here if he had Earthquake for sure. Um, like I, I knew that like I could at least take one, maybe two. But like I started setting Dragonites up and I was getting pretty scared. Uh, obviously I was like, what the hell when he went for like Extreme Speed? I was very like interested in why he went for that instead of like Earthquake or something like the probably the only move he can really hit me with. Uh, then he went for Dragon Rush and I'm thinking well okay clearly he doesn't have any moves to hit me against and I'm fully resisting a lot of his moves. Uh, so it's got Extreme Speed, Dragon Rush obviously instead of um, Outrage I guess. That terrible locking. Um, I misclick there which really sucks. I hate when you not pay attention to the game and you, you fuck up rest, sleep, talk. Oh my god. I, it's really frustrating. Um, I had to get this Toxic Hop on the Dragonite, that was my main sort of objective here. Um, so I'm guessing it was one of those sets with like Extreme Speed, uh, probably like Dragon, Dan Dragon Dance, obviously, and um, Dragon Rush, and maybe like an Elemental Punch or something, I'm not too sure, but it definitely didn't have Earthquake. Uh, regardless of that, those Dragon Rushes were starting to sort of stack up and damage, he could freely set up on me with Dragon Dance, and there's nothing else, else I could really do, I was sort of... Uh, I was in a situation where I could really only just sit here and take attacks and wait for the Toxic to try and uh, get rid of him. Wasn't sure if I had Roost or anything either, uh, but he's continuing to sort of like boost his stats, um, so it's getting really like powerful now. Even when I'm resisting it, it's going to do like loads of damage to me. Okay, so my best bet here was to tr I was trying to get some Meteor matches off, I was praying to get uh, one of them off, and I get one, which is great. And uh, like any damage is better than nothing um, for this thing. It does some sizable damage there. I was happy with that. That toxic is really starting to rack up now. Um, so about like two more turns, it's going to go down. Didn't want to lose uh, Mi Tang here. He was too important. So I thought um, for a while there, I thought, well, Altaris is probably the most expendable here. Um, I avoid the Dragon Rush. It's the only problem. With Dragon Rush. Uh, most people do run Declaw, but it's fun to run Dragon Dragon Rush. I guess it's like a little tiny bit more base power, just not the um, perfect accuracy. Um, I'm going to get demolished by Dragon Rush for sure there, and that's poor Altaro down. Uh, but it played a good role uh, before and stuff, and I needed it, and it did eventually uh, stall out that Dragonite, which is good. So once again, Meeting was very handy there getting rid of that Dragonite. Now, um, so we got the uh, Sloking left. Obviously, it's got regenerated since all of its health back now. Um, I went straight into my Del Caddy here. I thought, bugger it, I'm, I'm going to get some damage on this thing. Um, I look at Fake Out's damage and I was pretty impressed actually uh, with that. It's obviously got nothing in defense. Um, obviously it's, a, it's more special defense obviously. So I just went straight for um, Double Edge. It does loads of damage. Nearly do, qu doesn't quite take it out but does a shitload of damage. Definitely a two hit KO. Um, Psychic's me. I just live with 16 health. I was quite impressed by that because Delcaddy never lives anything. Um, so I thought here, well, I'm stuck in a little a bit of a rock and a hard place here because they can easily swap out into Porygon 2. Um, whether I just go for that, get some damage and swap something else in may be probably my best option. Gets my normalized, so all of these attacks are going to be normal now. So that wasn't too bad um, there. I know my Meetang would be safe there. And that does a nice chunk to Porygon 2 as well. I was really happy with that. So Delcaddy is awesome. Um, and I got the Toxic go running there as well. So it's already at half health. Uh, I knew that we have access to Recover. Um, but like I definitely could easily like stall this uh, Porygon 2 out as it's got normalized as well uh, so none of its all its moves are going to be like normal type um, it recovers even more normal than usual uh, right so I just went for a um, sleep talk here and just trying to get some medial mashes off uh, that was my idea I, I actually got some good parts like good runs of um, sleep and rest talk here like very like good moments there but then I had some like really terrible ones I guess that's sort of the risky run with it. Uh, anyway, so he's going to go for try attack, which is sort of interesting. It's not going to do much to me. Um, I, I once again I misclick there. I fucking hate that. I, I was sort of looking at my, I was actually looking at my phone and eating tea as well at the same time. So I probably needed to pay a little bit more attention when I was battling there. But um, that's all right. 
Um, I resisted those moves, so it didn't make too much of a difference there. And I'm just continuing to pound away at this Porygon too. It's so bulky of Everlight, um, as am I. And that's our one hit, like, just one turn away from going down to Toxic. Uh, it's continuing to spam me with, like, tri attack maybe hoping for a Hacks or something, like para hacks. Gets a burn, um, but I don't know, like, too well what, what happens after, like, a couple of tri attacks So I went for a rest there. And um, really, he was forcing me to rest because he did have FP on to bring in, so it wasn't actually such a bad play there, um, sacrificing the Porygon 2 here. Um, now, this turn here was probably the most... Uh, I'd say the most defining and important part of the match, really, who decide who was going to win or the match was going to uh, go longer or whatnot. Uh, so Espeon is definitely going to be able to hit KO me easily with Shadow Ball. Um, it's got Life Orb here. Now, I was half thinking of if I didn't get... Like, if I got Toxic or Rest, I'd be screwed. I'd have to like swap out into something into the Life Orb damage, but thankfully I get Meteor Mash and it lands. So that was a very important... Medial match there, probably the most one of the most important uh, turns in the game. They're getting rid of that Espeon. Um, it just countered both my last couple of pokes so much. Um, so the last poke here is um, Slow King. Now I was quite confident I could get past this thing if it didn't have like Calm Mind boosting moves. Um, I got the Toxic off. That was like number one priority. Getting Toxic off on that thing. <clears throat> uh, in case it did, was sort of like sneaking around getting. Uh, some Calm Minds up, but there wasn't, uh, clearly there wasn't anything it could do to me. It had Psychic, uh, I already seen Ice Beam on it. Uh, it probably had like Scald, and it, no doubt it had Slack Off, um, or it had like Calm Mind, it, it, but it would have used it by now, so I was quite uh, confident here. Um, I just went for Rest there anyway, just to like sort of just be a wall to this uh, Sloking and see, see out the rest of its moves and like pretty much just close the game. Um, so there was a lot of stall in this battle, but really my opponent did force me to play that way because I just had I did, had very few checks for a lot of these real powerful Pokemon. But um, um, yeah, it was it was it was crazy. <laughs> you know, as I said, it went for a good oh, a, a, like a good forty seven fifty minutes around there and like fifty four turns and stuff like that. Um, so pretty much. Um, it is game here, like, there's no way Slow King can touch by Meetang. Uh, Meetang pretty much killed, a, like, a lot of the Pokemon. He killed Porygon 2, uh, D-Knight, took out Slow King, um, like, played a hand in, like, a lot of Pokemon going down as well, like, like, um, Scrafty, it, like, got a, a poison on Charizard as well. It was, so, it was easily the best Pokemon uh, on my team for this battle and helped me out the most. Uh, there, so I just went to Ditto, like, just wanted to see what its moves were. I'm Choice Scarfed anyway, so I thought, oh, what the hell, I can easily just go, if it's got Slack off, I can go Choice Scarf, Slack off, and just keep slacking off to the poison damage it goes as well, and I'm be a real ass. No, not really, I just wanted to see what moves it actually had uh, left on it, and I wanted to be a shiny Sloking too, for the hell of it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, it was, um, it was quite long, but it had very important parts, and very, some pretty um, cool plays as well on both sides, and some good predictions on both sides too, and some interesting movesets, and that sort of thing. Um, it was definitely the longest battle I've had in a very long time as well, it was quite, it was quite taxing afterwards, and some of the, like, you got to think about each decision, and um, especially the turn when it was Espeon and Meetang, that was definitely the most, uh, probably the most defining point in the match there. I would have had to, if I got... Um, I say if I got Rest or Toxic, either Toxic would have been Magic Bounce, but I, obviously I'm still typed, so it wouldn't have worked. Uh, I would have had to swap out Ditto and Sacrifice it. Um, hopefully then Espeon would have gone down um, to the Life Orb, and uh, then it would have been Meetang versus uh, Sloking. So I say it would have been the same result um, there, but anyway, thanks for the um, game. And um, I think that's all, all about I need to say. Um, Answer that question of the day as you can. What wild Pokemon can be found at the highest level in any of the games? Peace out, guys.